In this video I'm going to show how to set up and run AutoTune. First thing is connect with the Mission Planner. Then we're going to go and set one of the flight modes to be Alt Hold. See here I have my middle flight uh, mode switch position set to Alt Hold. Then we go and set up channel 7 or channel 8 to be Auto Tune. Press save. Then we're going to go and make sure that our channel 7 switch goes high enough. So on the radio calibration page, click channel 7, there it is, and it goes over 1800, so that's, that's fine. Auto-tune is going to tune the stabilize roll and stabilize pitch and the rate roll and rate pitch uh, PID parameters. So just so that we know what they started out with, we're going to take a screenshot of these so that we can more easily compare the results to what we had at the beginning. Okay, I've brought uh, my 3DR quad out to a nice open field here. Um, there's very little wind today. Uh, I've set up my transmitter so that uh, my flight mode switch has um, alt hold in the middle position and uh, over here on the right side is my channel 7 switch uh, which will engage and disengage um, auto tune. So first I'm going to arm and take off in stabilized mode. off in stabilize mode, then I'm going to switch it into alt hold. There we are. So it's flying around in alt hold now. And I'll put it up a little bit higher. See so you now it's going. Now uh, I'm going to flick my channel 7 switch up and begin the process. There it is. So it's started tuning the, the roll. At any time I can use the sticks to uh, reposition the, the copter. So it's getting a little far away, so I'm going to pull it back. That temporarily stops the auto-tune. And as soon as I release the sticks, it'll start again. The whole process takes about five minutes or so, so make sure you have enough battery power. Bring it back a little bit closer, and let's start again. Re-aim the camera over here. Oops, it's gotten out of frame, so I'm going to reposition it again. Release the sticks, off it goes. a little further away so I'm going to bring it back. I think it may have actually completed the the roll now. No, still got a little more roll to go. Okay, I'm going to bring it back. Bring it back. Okay, and I've let go of the sticks. Reposition it again. There, let go of the sticks. Still working on roll. Must be getting pretty close to the end by now. Of course, if I want to do a board, the auto tune there it is now it's moving to pitch. If I want, I'm going to bring it back. 
course, if I wanted to abort the auto tune any time, I could just flick the switch, channel seven switch down. Position it a little closer. Oops, wrong way. Oops, I didn't do a very good job of repositioning. Let's try that again. Okay, letting go of the sticks. Okay, we're going to bring it back again. There it goes. Okay, I'll bring it back again. Okay, and now it's stopped moving, so it looks like it's finished the tune. So uh, now what I'll do is just bring it back home. I'm going to land it. And now... T and now to um, save those parameters, you leave the channel 7 switch uh, up, as I have it here, and then disarm. It will save those parameters now. Now I can go and, um, if I want to actually try flying with them, I can uh, just switch my channel 7 switch off, uh, rearm, and I've actually switched it back into stabilize mode, and I can now try flying with those parameters. There we are. Uh, nice and seems very tight, very responsive. Okay, so it flies, which is good. And uh, I'll now go back to the mission planner and um, see what values it came up with. Now after the test we can go to the config tuning APM copter PID screen and see what kind of results it got. So we can see it's raised so we can see that it's raised the uh, stabilized roll to 10.5 so about uh, more than twice what the uh, default is. Uh, and the rate roll P values have been cut to about half uh, and the D value is about double the default. So these results are actually uh, very consistent with what we see for a lot of coppers. I guess now that the test is done I'll set my channel 7 option to be do nothing. We're done. At, at the end of the auto tune uh, I landed with my channel 7 switch, which is set to auto-tune, up and disarmed. And that saved uh, the parameters that it, that it discovered during the auto-tune uh, you know, permanently into EEPROM. Now, uh, if for some reason uh, the auto-tune didn't work, um, or I didn't want to save those, uh, you know, the results of the auto-tune to the EEPROM, then when I landed I would have left the channel 7 switch in the off position before disarming, and then it wouldn't have saved anything. 